Praise the Lord, and thank you for tuning in to another time of Kingdom Empowerment. I'm Pastor John Thomason, and I'm so excited that you have tuned in on today to hear Thus Says the Lord on today so that you can be empowered, encouraged, and inspired to do all that God has placed on the inside of you to do. Amen. And God has placed something on the inside of you. Like I always say, you're not just here just to take up oxygen on this on this earth you're here for a reason you have a purpose you have a destiny and god's plan for your life is to see you fulfill that thing amen 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 so i i know that you have not just tuned in just to tune in god set this up for you to be watching this time so that you can be blessed on today amen bless the lord hallelujah amen well, like we always do, um, before we get into the word of God on today, we always like to open up with a word of prayer. Just bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this, for this time, for this opportunity to, to get in your word on today. Holy Spirit, I decrease so that you can increase. You be the dominant voice in this moment. Bring illumination and revelation to those that are watching right now in the name of Jesus cause a shift in their mindset on today cause their faith to arise and increase Father God in the name of Jesus I thank you Father God for signs wonders and miracles while the gospel is being taught and preached on today I thank you for breakthrough I thank you for deliverance taking place and I thank you for those being born in the kingdom of today in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father God, that those that are watching right now, I thank you that all the, the, the distractions that the enemy has set up to try to stop them from hearing what you want to say to them on today. I thank you that you have shut it down. I thank you that the, that the attacks of the enemy have been shut down and have been canceled right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for it. I give you all the glory, all the honor and praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is so good. Amen. And his mercies endure forever. Forever. Let me tell you something. You know, every time, and I say that verse a lot in my church. For the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. You know, um, when you read in um, 2 Chronicles chapter 5, I believe, it speaks about when Solomon, they had just finished building the temple. And the musicians were playing and the singers were singing. They were singing, for the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. For the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. Now, I don't know the, the harmony or anything, how they was doing it, but they was all on one accord when they was doing it, when they was singing, and they was sending up one sound. And as they begin to sing, the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever, the Bible says, and the glory of the Lord came in and filled the temple. Hallelujah. And, and the, filled, the glory came in such a way that they fell down on their face and they could no longer do what they were doing because the glory came into the place. So every time I say that, for the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever, my expectation is that, that right now, even those of you that are watching, 
that the glory of the Lord would come into your home and fill that place. Amen? Because I believe it. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Today, we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to talk about four keys to answer prayer. Four keys to answer prayer. Amen. You know, sometimes, you know, we when we pray um, and we don't see and we don't we don't see nothing happen. You know, when we pray, you know, we begin to get discouraged. We begin to uh, give up. Oh, this, this doesn't work. Um, I'm going to try. Maybe I'll try something else. Uh you know, we, we'll come with all these things because we prayed and we like we, we felt like, well, maybe God didn't hear us. But there's actually some keys to answer, to getting your prayers answered. One of the first keys to get your prayers answered is, number one, you have to have faith. You have to have faith. Listen, Hebrews 11 and 1 says this. Now faith is the substance of of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Which means faith, listen, faith is a very powerful thing. Faith has the ability to bring something that is unseen to see. Something that is invisible and make it visible. Faith. Faith. Come on. Hebrews 11 and 6 says this, but without faith, it is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So when you're seeking God and you're seeking him in faith, come on, you should expect your prayers to be answered. Why? Because the Bible also says this, when you pray, believe that he has heard you. And when he hears you, expect a response. You know, when Jesus, in uh, I believe it's in John chapter 11, it speaks about Lazarus. And Lazarus had died and Jesus was at the tomb. And as Jesus was praying, Jesus said that he said, Father, I know that you hear me. And then he said, said, and then he went on and Jesus said this. He said, Father, I know that you hear me now so that the people may believe that you have sent me. Then he went to look at, look towards Lazarus and he said, Lazarus come forth and Lazarus came coming out the tomb. Then he said, loose him and let him go. Then he loosed his bands. Lazarus was dead for four days. Jesus got in front of his tomb and began to pray and took action. One, he believed that his father heard him. Faith. Come on. Jesus is our model. He's teaching us, right? Faith, how important faith is. And listen, I just read to you um, Hebrew, Hebrews 11 and 6, where it says, but without but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who? Who's him? The Father. Right? For he who comes to God must believe, come on, is that faith, that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him in faith. Did you catch that? Hallelujah. I, you know, I, I love the way that it's, it's, it's written in the, Amplified, in the Amplified Bible version. Let me read that. Let me read this one to you. That same verse. It says, but without faith, it is, it is impossible to walk with God and please him. For whoever comes near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he rewards those who earnestly and diligently seek him. Oh, man, I love that. That makes it plain, doesn't it? It makes it plain. That's Listen, that's why faith, you have to first have faith. You got to pray in faith. You got to listen. 
When Jesus prayed that prayer, he didn't question if his father heard him. He said, I know faith. He took all that guess. He, he wasn't guessing. He wasn't praying and just hoping that his father heard his prayer. He believed it. You've got to believe. You've got to have faith. Amen? Hallelujah. You've got to have faith. Let me read to you Mark chapter 11, verse 23. Listen to this. I assure you and most humbly say to you, who, whoever says to this mountain be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart in God's unlimited power, come on, but believes that what he says is going to take place, it will be done for him. Come on. What did I just tell you? Have to have faith, not second guessing it. God, I believe and I know that you hear me. Come on, Jesus just said it. Let me read to you. Let me read it to you again. He said, I assure you. Did you catch that part? I assure you. And most solemnly say to you, whoever says to this mountain, that mountain can be anything, whatever situation, whatever crisis, whatever, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, where, where it's, 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 it's mental, whether it's financial, whether it's relational. Whoever says to, to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, meaning that you have to have faith, you have to have zero unbelief, but believes that what he says is going to take place, it will be done for him. Faith. Faith. That's why faith is the first key that you need to have. Amen? The second key for answered prayer is this. Find out what God's will is concerning it. Let me say it again. The second key to answer prayer is finding out what God's will is concerning it. Sometimes we pray for stuff and don't even ask God, Lord, is this your will? We ask, we, 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 we move in certain directions and, and do things without seeking him. Or sometimes we'll do something and then after we've done it, we'll invite him. Okay, God, I need you to cover. Find out what his will is. Why? Because God desires to fulfill his will. Oh, come on. Come on. You got to have faith in knowing that he hears you. Then find out what his will is concerning it. Because he seeks to perform. Come on. He seeks to fulfill his will concerning you and I. Hallelujah. Come on. First John five verse 14 and 16 says this. This this is the confidence which we have. Before him that. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears and listens to us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request which we have asked him. Did you catch that? See, this is why you need to inquire what his will is concerning the situation. Now, let me, now let me read this. Um, let me read this same verse in the Amplify. It says this. This is the remarkable. This is the remarkable degree of confidence which we as believers are entitled to. Ooh, that hits, that hits different, doesn't it? To have before him that. If we ask anything according to his will, 
that is consistent with his plan and purpose. He hears us. Oh, come on, somebody. He hears us. That is consistent with his plan and purpose. He hears us. Verse 15. And if we know for a fact, as indeed we do, that he hears and listens to us in whatever we ask, we also know with settled and absolute knowledge that we have that we have granted to us the request which we have asked from him. Oh, come on. That makes it plain. See, this is why it's important that you find out what his will is concerning it. So, so we already know the first key is that we got to have faith. We got to believe that he is. And then in your seeking with faith, find out what his will is concerning it. Now, the third key is simply the power of his name. The name of Jesus. Come on, that's the third key. John 14 and 6. Listen to this. And Jesus said to him, I am the only way, come on, to God. And the real truth and the real life, no one comes to the Father but through me. Come on, did you, did you, did you hear what I said? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to me, no one comes to the Father but through me. No one comes to the Father but through me. Now let's, now, now, now let's jump to John 14, verses 13 and 14. And listen to this part. And Jesus said this, And I will do whatever you ask in my name. <laughs> this I will do so that the Father may be glorified and, and celebrated in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. Somebody say he will do it. Verse 23, in that day, you will not ask me about anything. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whatever you ask the father in my name, I will give you. Now I want to read now I want to read this that John 14 13 verses 13 through 14 and verse 23 in the amplified. As you can see I love the amplified Bible. Listen to listen to what he says. And I will do whatever you ask in my name acting as Jesus representative, right? Cuz we are his representative, right? So he, he said, I will do whatever you ask in my name as my representative. This I will do so that the father may be glorified and celebrated in the son. If you ask me anything in my name as my representative, I will do it. Verse 23, in that day, you will not need to ask me about anything. I assure you, and most assembly Solemnly say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name as my representative, he will give you. Oh, come on. As his representative, he's giving you the keys. He's giving you faith. And he's giving you his name. He's giving you the authority to use his name. The name of Jesus. And it says, when you use his name, you're standing as a representative. So when you say in the name of Jesus, as a representative of what? The kingdom. Come on. You can ask and this shall be unto you. Now, this is why I told you in the beginning that the first key is faith. 
And in Hebrews 11 and 6, it speaks about when, when, when it's all, where it speaks about faith, it says that, I'm going back, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. <clears throat> For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Talk about your faith. And then the next thing that we talked about, find out what his will is concerning it. Why? Because he seeks to fulfill his will. Amen. Why? Because we also said that Jesus said that if you ask anything according to his will, when you're consistent with his plan and purpose, his will, he, hear, he hears you. He hears us. And if we know for a fact that he, that he hears us and listens to us, Whatever we ask, we know that we have it. And then he gives you his name, the name of Jesus to use. And then we just read that Jesus said, and I will do whatever you ask in my name. The power of his name. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. The power of his name. Hmm. As his representative. Come on, that's just three keys. Faith, finding out what the, his will is concerning the situation or whatever his will is pertaining to your life. The name of Jesus, standing in the name of Jesus, asking as a representative of the kingdom, using his name. Listen, he's giving you the right to use his name. And then after you have asked and after you have used his name, then move into Thanksgiving. <laughs> In Thanksgiving, you're thanking him. Why? Because you know that he's heard you and you know that it's done. Listen, what did I tell you about when, what did I tell you earlier about Jesus when he stood before Lazarus' tomb when he prayed? He said, Father, I know that you hear me. Now, so that the people may believe that you have sent me. Lazarus come forth. There was no hesitation. Jesus stood in faith. He knew that his father heard him. He knew what his father, father's will was. He asked. And then he saw the manifestation of what he believed. And he gave thanks. Come on, that's, that's how you get your prayers answered. You end it with thanksgiving. Let me read um, Philippians um, chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. It says this. Do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific requests known to God. And the peace of God, that peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus is yours. Come on. What am I, what am I saying to you? After you, 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 you've come in faith, you, you found out what the will of God pertain to the situation, you found, you found out what his will is because you have, you, you've, you've got an understanding now that when you find out what his will is, you know that God heals you. He hears you. Why? Because he seeks to fulfill his will. Amen. Then he gives you his name. Come on, the name of Jesus, the, the right to use his name. And then after you, you've said your prayer, then you go directly into thanksgiving, not worrying about it, not stressing about wondering, well, is it going to happen or anything? No, know that it's going to happen. Know that it's going to come to pass. Know that he's heard you. All you got to do is just give thanks and expect to see the manifestation 
of what you believe. That's how you get your prayers answered. Amen. Hallelujah. So you, so what, come on, after you pray, you don't go back and well, Lord, I, I pray that you heard everything and I, I, I'm, 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 I hope to see it soon. No, nope. you got to be like Jesus when he stood in front of Lazarus' tomb. Father, I know that you, I know you hear me. Now, so that the people may believe that you have sent me. And so that you may be glorified. Because this was about God getting glory. And it was a part of it. This was the will of God. Concerning Lazarus at that time. That he will be, that he will be raised. Jesus saw the manifestation of what he believed. And Lazarus came out that too. Answered prayer. Amen. Now, if you follow that model, you will begin to see your prayers begin to get answered. Amen. 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 Listen, I pray that you were blessed by by the words on today. You know, four keys to answered prayer. Amen. Um, <clears throat> I pray that you will begin to put these keys into practice in your life. So you can start seeing the manifestation of what you believe. Start seeing your prayers answered. Bless the Lord. Amen. Well, I pray that you were blessed by the, by the broadcast on today. Now, before we, before we, before we go, um, <clears throat> here at Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, where I'm the pastor and prophetess Tanya Thomason, um, co-pastors with me. Uh, we would really love for you to come and join us here at our at our church. Our address is 2700 Pine Grove Avenue here in Port Huron, Michigan. We would love for you to join us in person. Our Sunday services are at 12 noon on Sundays. We also have our, our weekly Bible study on Wednesdays. That's at 7 o'clock p.m. Now, if you can now, if you cannot join us um, in person, you can watch our services on Facebook and YouTube. You can, you can catch our Sunday services at 7.30 p.m. And our midweek broadcast at 12.30 p.m. You can um, watch them on, our, on Facebook. You can get to our Facebook page at Kingdom Empower where you can watch our services. Now you can also watch us on YouTube. Our YouTube is the is Kingdom Empowerment Ministries or at Kingdom Empower. And you can get to our YouTube channel where you can watch all our content, all our YouTube shorts and our other teachings. And if you want to find out more about Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, you can go to our website, www.kingdomempower.org. Listen, I love you, and I will continue to be praying for you and believing God for your breakthrough. Amen. i see you next time for your kingdom empowerment. Blessings.